The Neanderthals lived in Europe and Southwest Asia until about 28,000 years ago. They were so successful because they adapted both physically and culturally to the Ice Age conditions that faced them around 130,000 years ago. Scientists aren't really sure if Neanderthals can be considered Homo sapiens. They could be a different variety or a race, or could even be just similar enough to be their own species. Neanderthal bones were first uncovered in the mid-1800s and have stumped researchers since. They have been found all over Europe, mostly in the West. And our knowledge today comes from these fossil discoveries and from other scientific perspectives, such as Charles Darwin's book that we learned about in class, On the Origin of Species, published in 1859. The discovery of Neanderthals made the theory of evolution through natural selection much more popular, and it also helped people realize that people evolved from earlier forms. Neanderthals were typically very big boned and were around 5 feet tall and roughly 140 pounds. They were both strong and flexible because of the thickness and high density of their leg muscles, which allowed for a great amount of running, walking, and aggressive hunting. They also had short leg and arm bones, which represent adaptations to their hunting, gathering way of life and also to the cold climates where they lived. Their brain size and structure is similar to that of humans, but they did have very large heads. And the larger head paired with the compact body is conducive to a cold environment where they lived. The way they walked and stood upright preceded the evolution of Homo sapiens. They continued to evolve in the head and the body until they reached modern human form. The brain began increasing in size and then the body increased in size after that. And the reason is that nature selected the mental capabilities needed to adapt to changing environments, and we see evidence of this larger brain size in the more sophisticated tools and living styles of later humans. Most or all of our information about Neanderthals comes from their DNA and from their bones. It has been found that there has been interbreeding between modern humans and Neanderthals. Uh, their DNA has genes for an HLA gene, a human antigen in the immune system. So that gave protections for diseases, and their mating with archaic humans would have helped them adapt to viruses and bacteria from those diseases. No one really knows the real reason for the decimation of the Neanderthal po uh, population. It coincides with the arrival and exponential growth of populations of different modern humans, and we can only assume that Neanderthals could not compete with those other humans. They weren't smart or inventive enough to develop adequate technology for the winter conditions, especially as the Ice Age worsened. The discovery of more and more evidence in fossils from earlier ages allows for debate among scientists. The legacy of Neanderthals and the reasons for their existence and their decimation will remain a mystery.